Hello friends and welcome to my code coffee. In previous chapter we summarized the definition of transaction. In this chapter we will talk more about it and understand the details of transaction output. The fundamental building block of a bitcoin transaction is the transaction output. Transaction output is the indivisible chunk of bitcoin value along with a puzzle that you must solve if you want to spend this bitcoin. When you spend a bitcoin which means when you spend a transaction output by solving its puzzle new transaction outputs are created and the earlier transaction output becomes dead or spent because now no one can spend this output these new transaction outputs are now the active outputs and they are unspent and that is why they are called unspent transaction outputs or utxo so utxo is the active unspent transaction outputs which can be spent by solving the puzzle in this transaction but what is this puzzle and who can solve it well for most of the time this puzzle is a locking script which locks this output to a bitcoin address and as you know that bitcoin address is nothing but a hash of public key this puzzle can be solved by unlocking script which has this public key along with the digital signature of a private key which created this public key if this sounds overwhelming take a step back and understand this with the help of an example suppose your friend has 5 bitcoin and he wants to transfer this bitcoin to you what is the first step the first step is that you will give your bitcoin address then your friend will spend this bitcoin to your bitcoin address which actually means he will spend the transaction output of 5 bitcoin which he owns by creating another transaction output which will have a locking script that will bind this bitcoin to your bitcoin address and now since you have the public key which was used to create this bitcoin address and you must be having the corresponding private key which was used to create this public key you can use the digital signature of your private key along with your public key to spend this new output so basically now you are the owner of this 5 bitcoin transaction output and only you can spend it now suppose you want to give 2 bitcoins to your sister remember that transaction output is indivisible chunk of bitcoin which means you will have to spend transaction output in its entirety now here the transaction output that you own has 5 bitcoins but you want to transfer only 2 bitcoins to your sister so what you will do you will create two transaction outputs one transaction output with 2 bitcoins should bind to your sister's bitcoin address and another transaction output with 3 bitcoins should bind to your bitcoin address in this way you spend entire 5 bitcoin transaction output but you still own 3 bitcoins so now your old 5 bitcoin transaction output is spent dead or inactive and you have two new transaction output which are the active or unspent transaction output or utxo okay so we understood quite a few concepts here so let us revise them we learned that transaction output is the value of bitcoin along with a locking script we also learned that it is of two types first type is an inactive or spent transaction outputs they are kind of dead transaction outputs because you cannot use them in your transactions as they are already spent second type is the unspent transaction output this is the real active transaction output which someone can spend and they are often referred as utxo or unspent transaction output we also learned that transaction outputs are indivisible which means that when you spend a transaction output you will have to spend entire output so much so that if you want to spend a part of output still you will have to spend entire output and transfer some part to your own address this is very similar to fiat currency if you want to give someone 2 dollars and you have only 5 dollar bill you will not really rip the bill in two parts and give one part of it you will give entire 5 dollar and expect a change of 3 dollars from him This is the same concept here and that's why even in bitcoin world the transaction output that you create for your own address is called change. We also learned what we actually mean by transferring a bitcoin from one person to other or in other words spending a bitcoin. It just means creation of new transaction output from existing unspent transaction output. In this process existing transaction outputs become dead or spent or inactive and new transaction outputs are created which are active and unspent also called unspent transaction output or utxo so as you can see whenever a transaction happens some unspent transaction outputs are spent and some new transaction outputs are created which means that some transaction outputs are removed from the utxo pool and some transaction outputs are added to the pool and then we learn who can spend a transaction output or in other words who can create new transaction output from existing transaction output 
and I explain you that you can do that if you are able to unlock the puzzle which binds the Bitcoin to the Bitcoin address and you will be able to unlock the puzzle only if you have the public key from which this Bitcoin address was created and the digital signature of the private key from which this public key was created. This combination of digital signature and public key is called unlocking script because you use this information to unlock the locking script of transaction output. We will learn later that digital signature is created using private key. So only if you have private key, you can spend a transaction. Now that you have some idea about transaction output, UTXO and how they are spent, it is time to introduce you about transaction input and how transaction input is related to transaction output. Check out my next chapter to understand these details and enjoy my code coffee. If you now want to move to the next chapter, you can click on this card. And yes, don't forget to subscribe to this channel and hit the bell icon because so many interesting videos are on the way. For easy navigation to all chapters, visit mycodecoffee.com. Thank you so much for watching.